Lucy Stern stood at the entrance of the hidden chamber, her eyes fixed on the ancient text laid out on a pedestal before her. Jasper, Hallam Seathan, and Neville Fallow gathered around, their expressions a mix of anticipation and determination. Lucy Stearns, raising her hand, welcome, my fellow seekers of knowledge. The artifact before us holds the key to a power unparalleled within the Amis. The process for growing artificial citizens is a gift and a responsibility, and today, we decide its fate. Jasper, leaning in, you mean its liberation. This knowledge shouldn't be confined to the vision of Dylan E.T. alone. We've seen the potential, the untapped power. Hallam Seathan, grinning, and imagine the kind of chaos we can stir up with this information. A world molded by our intentions. Neville Fallow, looking thoughtful, but are we sure this is the right path? We've been guided by the principles of Amos. Turning against Dylan and the university feels like betraying those very principles. Lucy Stearns, nodding, Neville, my dear, wisdom sometimes demands a divergence from the established path. Our pursuit is not one of chaos but of understanding. Dylan may have a vision, but so do we. The Amis is not his sole dominion, it belongs to all who seek enlightenment. Jasper, smirking, enlightenment or not, the power this process grants is undeniable. Imagine the control, the influence we could wield. Hallam Seathan, raising an eyebrow, and the freedom from the constraints of Dylan's orchestrated harmony. We'll dance to our own tunes. Neville Fallow, looking conflicted, but how do we justify this to the settlers? To those who believe in the principles we once upheld, Lucy Stearns, placing a hand on Neville's shoulder, our pursuit is for the greater good, Neville. We guard this knowledge from those who would use it blindly. Dylan's intent to share it may lead to unintended consequences. We're protectors, not raiders. Jasper, crossing arms protector or rebel, it's a matter of perspective. Let's not get lost in semantics. We take this knowledge, and we decide its fate for the greater good as we see it. Hallam Seathan, smirking, and maybe a bit of mischief on the side. Lucy Stearns, solemnly the path we tread is uncertain, but in our hands, the process artifact finds guardianship. We stand at the crossroads of destiny, my companions. Let us move forward, united in purpose. Jasper, stepping forward, the time for deliberation is over. We've made our choice. Liberation, not confinement. Hallam Seathan, smirking, it's time to embrace a new order. One not dictated by Dylan's singular vision. Neville Fallow, looking torn, but what about the principles we swore to uphold? Amos isn't just a philosophy, it's a commitment. Lucy Stearns, calmly, Neville, we remain true to the essence of Amos. Our commitment is to the greater good, and sometimes that requires challenging the status quo. Jasper, nodding, the settlers deserve to know the truth, to have the power to shape their own destiny. Hallam Seathan, Crossing arms, let's not forget the element of surprise. Dylan won't see this coming. Neville Fallow. Resolute, if we do this, we must be prepared for the consequences. Dylan won't take this lightly. Lucy Stearns. Raising her hand, we tread carefully, mindful of the responsibility we bear. Our purpose is enlightenment, not chaos. The group prepared to confront Dylan E.T. and unveil their intentions to the settlers. The process artifact now stood divided, each rebel holding their own vision for the Amis. Dash 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 dash. Meanwhile, in the heart of Veridigis, Dylan E.T. sensed a disturbance. 
a feeling that the harmony of the plan was about to face an unforeseen challenge. The confrontation between the rebels and the architect of the Amis loomed on the horizon, promising a clash of ideals soon to echo through the corridors of Biofexry Castle. The moon cast an ethereal glow over the towering spires of Biofexry Castle as the rebels prepared. Their escape, Dylan E.T., standing atop the central tower, his eyes fixed Lucy, you tread on dangerous ground. The process artifact holds powers beyond your understanding. I implore you to reconsider. Lucy Stearns, gripping her synchronic swords, her eyes defiant Dylan, your vision constrains the potential within us. We seek to liberate knowledge, to allow settlers to explore the depths of their creativity. The process artifact is the key. Dylan E.T. Summoning and anchoring 3D GR, a radiant glow enveloping him, Lucy, the harmony we've achieved is delicate. Your actions jeopardize the stability of Biofexry. The disruption is welcome, Lucy Stearns. Stepping forward, the hilts of her synchronic swords humming with energy, stability at the cost of freedom is not true harmony. We'll forge a new path guided by the untamed potential of the process artifact. The clash was imminent. Biofexry Castle, once a symbol of unity, now stood witness to the ideological battle between the guardians of tradition and the liberators of knowledge. Dylan E.T. But Lucy, our path ensures stability and coherence. The synchronic swords, tempo and rhythm, dance in harmony with the anchoring 3D GR. Each swing is a manifestation of divine principles. Lucy Stearns. Drawing closer, stability should not come at the cost of autonomy. Jasper, Neville, Hallam, and I believe in empowering individuals with the process artifact. We aim to break free from the constraints of your orchestrated harmony. Dylan E.T., his eyes gleaming with determination, Lucy, the process artifact, is a sacred knowledge. It requires guidance and understanding. You risk unleashing forces that could disrupt the delicate balance we've achieved. Jasper, from the shadows balance or stagnation, Dylan, we are not evil, we are liberators. The rebels, guided by the ideals of freedom and exploration, have taken the artifact to unlock the untapped potential within each settler. As Lucy spoke, Jasper, Neville Fallow, and Hallam Seathan emerged from the shadows, each holding a fragment of the process artifact, a symbolic defiance against Dylan's vision. Hallam Seathan, smirking, the knowledge within this artifact is not to be hoarded. It's a tool for individual growth and collective progress. Neville Fallow, pointing towards Dylan, his vision stifles creativity. We seek a world where settlers can shape their destiny. The dance of the synchronic swords should not be confined to a predetermined choreography. The tension escalated as Lucy Stearns drew her synchronic swords, the encoded hilts pulsating with a rebellious energy. Lucy Stearns, locking eyes with Dylan, Dylan, your harmony has become a cage. We'll free knowledge from its confines. Dylan E.T., standing atop the central tower, his eyes fixed, Lucy, you tread on dangerous ground. The process artifact holds powers beyond your understanding. I implore you to reconsider. Lucy Stearns, Gripping her synchronic swords, her eyes defiant Dylan, your vision constrains the potential within us. We seek to liberate knowledge, to allow settlers to explore the depths of their creativity. The process artifact is the key. As Lucy spoke, Jasper, Neville Fallow, and Hallam Seathan left her side, each carrying a fragment of the process artifact. The clash was imminent. Biofexry Castle, once a symbol of unity, 
now stood witness to the ideological battle between the guardians of tradition and the liberators of knowledge. Dylan E.T. Extending his hands, the anchoring 3DGR pulsating with power, if you leave, Lucy, you forsake the harmony we've strived to achieve. The consequences are welcome, Lucy Stearns. Taking a defiant stance Dylan, it's time for a new era. The settlers deserve the chance to shape their own destiny. As Lucy and Dylan locked eyes, the air crackled with anticipation. The rebel faction made their move, attempting to escape Biofexry Castle and influence the raider faction beyond its walls. Dylan E.T. Summoning the Synchronic Swords tempo and rhythm with a swift motion, if you choose this path, Lucy, know that the repercussions are beyond your control. The dance of the Synchronic Swords may embody harmony, yet your rebellion disrupts my plan. In the moonlit courtyard of Biofexry Castle, the clash between Dylan E.T., the maestro of tempo and rhythm, and Lucy Stearns, the master of linguistic semiotics, unfolded like a dance. The battlefield resonated with the vibrant clash of their dual-wielded swords. As the battle ensued, trails of 3DGR followed every move, leaving a unique mark on the courtyard. Each strike carried linguistic significance, as the encoded hilts responded to the strategic expressions of the combatants. Dylan, with the retaliation of tempo and rhythm, demonstrated his tactical prowess by seamlessly adding 3DGR with strategic precision. The courtyard echoed with the duet of Aria as Lucy Stearns countered with her own movements, creating a visual masterpiece in the cacophony of combat. A convergence of their skills brought forth an enigmatic dance, the synchronic swords executing cross-block maneuvers with the addition of 3DGR, transforming the courtyard into a realm of vibrancy. Lucy Stearns activated the encoded hilts in the awakening, a sequence generation that showcased the creative flow of Lucy her synchronic swords. The complexity preformed by Dylan E.T. added a collaborative beat as tempo and rhythm, enhanced with 3DGR, turned the courtyard into a stage for a complex rhyme. The duel unfolded with inversion in a dance of unpredictability that added multiple 3DGR, creating a vivid display of mastery. As the battle reached its zenith, the graceful ballet of balance unfolded. Lucy Stearns added 3DGR to create equilibrium in the dance, turning the courtyard into a stage for a poised ballet. Echoes resonated through the battlefield, with the combatants engaging in a dance that added 3DGRs to the landscape. The climax of the battle arrived with disarmament, an enigma unfolding as tempo and rhythm, enhanced with two additional 3DGR, heightened the suspense. The courtyard turned into a realm of combat as Dylan E.T. attempted to disarm Lucy, yet Lucy Stearns, fueled by the rebellious energy pulsating from her synchronic swords and the encoded hilts humming with a linguistic defiance, swiftly executed a well-crafted complex 3DGR semantic structure. The intricate dance of 3DGR strands created a momentary impasse, freezing Dylan E.T. in his tracks as he struggled to decipher the semantic web before him. In that fleeting moment, Lucy sees the opportunity to escape the dance of swords and linguistic prowess. Dash 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 dash. Running with a purpose, Lucy Stearns clutched her fragment of the process artifact, the weight of its untapped potential driving her forward. The moonlit courtyard echoed with the resonance of her footsteps, each stride carrying the determination to liberate knowledge from the shackles of orchestrated harmony. Behind her, Biofexry Castle stood witness to the clash of ideals, a battleground where rebellion met tradition in a symphony. As Lucy sprinted through the intricate corridors of Biofexry Castle, 
she could hear the distant clash of swords and the hum of 3DGR resonating in the air. The rebel faction, once scattered in the chaos, converged at a predetermined rendezvous point. Jasper, Hallam Seathan, and Neville Fallow, each holding their fragments of the process artifact, awaited Lucy's arrival. The regrouping of the rebels marked the climax of their rebellion. The fragments of the process artifact, symbolic of their defiance, resonated with a shared purpose. Lucy Stearns, the mastermind behind the rebellion, faced her companions with a steely resolve. Jasper, smirking with the thrill of defiance, spoke, Lucy, you managed to outmaneuver Dylan. The power within the process artifact is now in our hands. What's our next move? Lucy Stearns, locking eyes with her comrades. We enter the labyrinthian 3DGR gate of syntactic structures. It's time to unlock the full potential of the process artifact and break free from Dylan's orchestrated harmony. The rebels, armed with fragments of the process artifact, pressed forward, determined to navigate the labyrinth of syntactic structures. The air crackled with anticipation as they entered the gateway, their footsteps echoing through the corridors of Biofexry Castle. Jasper led the way, deciphering the encoded language within the geometric patterns of the 3DGR gate. Neville Fallow, Hallam Seathan, and Lucy Stearns followed closely, their eyes darting between the shifting syntactic structures that seemed to challenge their every move. As they ventured deeper into the labyrinth, the 3DGR gate presented trials that tested not only their physical agility but also their understanding of the divine language encoded within the anchoring 3DGR. The rebel faction moved in unison, their synergy echoing the rhythmic dance of the synchronic swords. The archetypal 3DGR statue guards, positioned strategically within the labyrinth, came to life with animated grace. Their sculpted forms mirrored the perfection of the theory of forms, and their presence challenged the rebels to unlock the secrets encoded in their stillness. Neville Fallow, with his deep connection to the divine, stepped forward to communicate with the archetypal 3DGR statue guards. Channeling the wisdom of the anchoring 3DGR, he spoke the divine language, seeking permission to pass through the guarded passages. The statues responded with subtle movements, acknowledging Neville's understanding of the sacred language. As the rebel faction continued their escape, the archetypal 3DGR statue guards seemed to guide them, their stoic forms providing a sense of reassurance in the labyrinth's complexity. The rebel faction encountered challenges that required the mastery of the synchronic sword's linguistic artistry. Lucy Stearns, wielding her swords with precision, created rhythmic patterns that resonated with the syntactic structures, unlocking hidden passages within the labyrinth. Jasper utilized her formidable precision, interpreting the semantic 3DGR structures as clues to the labyrinth's secrets. Each trial they faced strengthened their resolve and showcased the transformative power of the synchronic swords and the theory of forms. As they reached the heart of the labyrinthian 3DGR gate of syntactic structures, a radiant glow emanated from the central chamber. The rebel faction stood before a monumental 3DGR structure, intricately woven with divine symbols and geometric precision. Neville Fallow, guided by the wisdom of the Amis, deciphered the encoded message within the monumental structure. The gate relented, unveiling the next phase of their journey and the path to unlocking the untapped potential of the process artifact. The journey to liberate knowledge and shape their destiny continued, guided by the transformative principles encoded within the divine dance of the synchronic swords and the Amis. As the rebel faction emerged from the labyrinthian 3DGR gate of semantic structures into the lush rainforest of MT. 
Veridian, the atmosphere changed from the geometric precision of the 3D GR to the untamed beauty of nature. The vibrant foliage, the soothing sounds of flowing water, and the harmonious symphony of wildlife created a stark contrast to the controlled environment they left behind. Lucy Stearns, holding the crucial part 4 of the process artifact, led the way with a sense of purpose. The rainforest of M.T. Veridian became a sanctuary for the rebels, providing a connection to the natural world. The synchronic swords, symbols of order, resonated with the organic surroundings. Neville Fallow, carrying the implementation of the rules of interaction of the 3D GR, took a moment to commune with the natural elements. His connection to the divine guided him to understand the delicate balance between the interdependency of the 3D GR and the essence of the rainforest. The rebels found solace in Neville's ability to harmonize with the environment. Jasper, entrusted with the incorporation of the signaling rules of the 3D GR, observed the intricate sounds of nature and contemplated how these could intertwine with the signaling pathways of the 3D GR. The rainforest of M.T. Veridian offered a rich tapestry of inspiration, allowing her to envision a harmonious integration of natural signaling with the artificial citizenry. Hallam Seathan, the guardian of the blueprint for the machine unit of the 3D GR, reveled in the interdependent beauty of the rainforest. The towering trees, the cascading waterfalls, and the diverse life forms stirred his roguish spirit. Hallam saw in nature the potential for diverse machine units, each playing a unique role in the ecological balance of the artificial citizen. As Lucy Stearns led the rebels deeper into the rainforest of M.T. Veridian, the philosophical implications of their mission became more profound. The process artifact, now divided among them, represented the convergence of structured knowledge and the untamed forces of nature. The rebels understood that to harness the true potential of the process artifact, they needed to embrace both order and chaos, integrating the principles of the 3D GR with the organic wisdom of the rainforest. The journey through the rainforest became a transformative experience, not just for the rebels but for the process artifact itself. The synergistic dance between the artificial and the natural unfolded, echoing the dance of the synchronic swords within a different, more organic rhythm. The rainforest of M.T. Veridian, once a backdrop, became an active participant in the rebels' quest for liberation and enlightenment. Dash, 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 dash. In the heart of the rainforest of M.T. Veridian, the rebel faction, composed of Neville Fallow, Lucy Stearns, Hallam Seathan, and Jasper, pressed forward in their quest to liberate knowledge and understand the intricacies of the process of design and development of artificial citizens. As they ventured deeper into the dense vegetation, the vibrant life of the rainforest surrounded them, creating a harmonious symphony of natural sounds. They soon began to notice subtle signs of the raider presence, markings on trees, remnants of encampments, and the distant echoes of raider chatter. Neville Fallow, attuned to the divine, sensed an unsettling energy in the air, a discord that contrasted sharply with the natural harmony they sought to protect. Lucy Stearns, with her encoded hilts and synchronic swords, led the way with a sense of purpose. Her keen perception picked up on the disturbances in the rainforest's delicate balance. The rebels approached a clearing where an ominous aura hung in the air, indicating the proximity of Clifton's stronghold. Hallam Seathan, the guardian of the machine unit section of the process artifact, recognized the signs of a massive excavation of resources. He observed traces of civilization, but it was clear that Clifton lacked an understanding of the delicate concepts embedded in the design and development of artificial citizens. 
Jasper, the dynamic force of the group, analyzed the cultural layout of the area. She noted the raider outposts and devised a plan to approach Clifton's stronghold with caution, utilizing the natural cover provided by the raider city of M.T. Veridian. The rebels, guided by their collective wisdom and the encoded knowledge of the process artifact, reached the outskirts of Clifton's stronghold. The sight that greeted them was both awe-inspiring and ominous, a platinum fortress constructed from the harvested resources of the rainforest, with eerie lights emanating from within. As the rebel faction prepared to confront Clifton, they observed his magnanimous vice-filled character. Clifton revealed the power he derived from his plunder, viewing the rainforest without regard for its delicate ecosystem but as a tool to enforce his dominance. The raiders under his command echoed his malevolent desires. Neville Fallow, sensing the discord within Clifton's heart, felt a deep conflict between the divine harmony he sought and the dark energies emanating from the raider ruler. Lucy Stearns, with her synchronic swords, prepared for a linguistic dance that would not only expose Clifton's lack of understanding but also challenge his misguided excavation practices. As the rebels confronted Clifton, the raider ruler, a tense exchange unfolded. Clifton, unaware of the rebels' knowledge and guided only by his desire for control, underestimated the power of the those who stood for him. Lucy Stearns, holding the fourth section of the process artifact, approached Clifton with a misguided determination to enlighten him. She spoke of the interconnected creativity embedded in the rainforest of M.T. Veridian and the delicate balance required in the design and development of civilizations. Neville Fallow, channeling the wisdom of the Amis, urged Clifton to recognize the divine principles that should guide the interdependency of individuals. The rebels, standing united against the raider ruler's vice-filled intentions, sought to convey the true essence of the 3DGR's transformative power. As the rebel faction engaged in a philosophical dialogue with Clifton, the rainforest echoed with the clash of ideas. The vibrancy of nature stood in stark contrast to Clifton's malevolence, creating a tension that would determine the fate of the rainforest of M.T. Veridian. In this tumultuous encounter between the rebels and Clifton, the ruler of Raider City, the rainforest itself became a silent witness to the dance of conflicting ideologies. The rebels, armed with the knowledge encoded in the process artifact, stood firm against Clifton's vice-filled ambitions, prepared to shape the destiny of the rainforest of M.T. Veridian. The raiders, oblivious to the intricate concepts of the 3DGR, faced a profound challenge as the rebels sought to liberate both knowledge and nature from the grip of malevolence. The rainforest of M.T. Veridian faced a pivotal moment. The rebel faction, armed with the process artifact and guided by the principles of interdependent creativity, engaged in a philosophical dialogue with Clifton, the raider ruler. The fate of the rainforest hung in the balance as the clash of ideologies echoed through the dense vegetation. Lucy Stearns, wielding her synchronic swords, spoke eloquently about the delicate balance between structured knowledge and the untamed forces of nature. She emphasized the importance of understanding the process artifact and its application towards harmony between the raiders and the rainforest. Neville Fallow, channeling the divine wisdom of the Amis, urged Clifton to recognize the higher principles that should guide the creation of civilization. The rebels sought to enlighten Clifton about the transformative power of the 3DGR when aligned with humanity. Hallam Seathan, guardian of the blueprint for the machine unit fragment of the process artifact, pointed out the flaws in Clifton's artificial manipulation of the rainforest. He emphasized the need for a nuanced approach in constructing architecture, 
one that respected the diversity and balance of the rainforest of M.T. Veridian. Jasper, the diplomatic force, proposed a vision where the rainforest's resources would empower the raiders' materials for 3D GR structure. She spoke of a symbiotic relationship between technology and nature, where both elements enriched each other rather than clashed. As the philosophical dialogue unfolded, the rebels aimed to plant seeds of understanding in Clifton's heart. However, Clifton, driven by his vices and lust for power, remained obstinate. The raider ruler viewed the rainforest and the 3D GR solely as tools for dominance, dismissing the rebels' attempts at enlightenment. Clifton, mocking laughter, you speak of harmony and interconnected creativity, but I see only weakness. The rainforest is a resource, and the 3D GR is a tool for control. I will shape them as I see fit. Lucy Stearns. Clifton, true power comes from understanding, not control. The rainforest and the 3D GR are not mere tools, they are reflections of the divine order. Embrace the symbiosis, and you'll witness the transformative potential. Neville Fallow, speaking with conviction, your artificial manipulation disrupts the delicate balance of life. We seek harmony, not dominance. Open your heart to the wisdom of Veridigis. Hallam Sethan. Pointing to the rainforest, the diversity here is a testament to the beauty of creation. Raider civilization should mirror this diversity, not exploit it. Your vision lacks the subtlety required for true enlightenment. Jasper. Innovative diplomat Clifton. Imagine a world where we enrich the divine order. Nature provides inspiration for technology, and technology enhances the rainforest's resilience. It's a dance of progress, not a march of conquest. The rebels' words hung in the air, challenging Clifton's rigid mindset. However, the raider ruler remained defiant, his eyes gleaming with the desire for control. Clifton, sneering, your ideals are but illusions. Power is what shapes destinies. The rainforest and the 3D GR will bow to my will. I'll extract every ounce of their potential for my dominance. As Clifton declared his intentions, the rainforest of M.T. Veridian responded with a subtle shift in energy. The rebels, now faced with a raider ruler unswayed by philosophical discourse, realized that their quest for enlightenment might require a different approach. Lucy Stearns, with a determined look, signaled to her fellow rebels. The time for dialogue had reached its limit and the clash with the platinum-clad raiders unfolded as a grand spectacle, echoing through the moonlit night. Jasper, the diplomatic thinker, took center stage as the rebels' strategist, orchestrating their every move with calculated precision. As the platinum-clad raiders, led by the imposing Clifton, advanced with their gleaming platinum armor, the rebels took their strategic stance. Lucy Stearns, Neville Fallow, and Hallam Sethan stood ready, each embodying a unique aspect of the rebels' resistance. The linguistic maestro, Lucy Stearns, stepped forward with her synchronic swords, ready to engage in a dance of words that would expose the raiders' lack of understanding. Ah, Clifton, the dance has just begun. Let's see if your raiders can keep up with the rhythm of enlightenment, she declared, her words carrying the weight of linguistic prowess and defiance. Clifton, fueled by a desire for dominance, scoffed at the notion of enlightenment. Enlightenment, I only seek power, not some fanciful dance. Raiders, crush them with your might. He bellowed, his orders resonating with the brute force mentality that had characterized the raiders' approach. Hallam Sethan, the guardian of the machine unit section of the process artifact, interjected with a roguish grin, well, well, raiders. 
Let's add a touch of chaos to your rigid dance. Get ready for a roguish surprise. His words hinted at the unpredictability that would define his maneuvers in the coming clash. Neville Fallow, channeling the divine wisdom of the Amis, spoke with calm certainty, in the dance of principles the raiders stumble. Clifton, your understanding is as hollow as your ambitions. His words carried the weight of a higher purpose, challenging Clifton's pursuit of power devoid of harmony. Lucy Stearns, weaving her linguistic tapestry, added, the linguistic symphony reveals your lack of harmony, Clifton. We rebels won't bow to discord. Her words resonated with certainty of foresight, emphasizing the disharmony that Clifton's raiders had brought to the sacred balance. Jasper, once again stepping into the forefront, addressed Clifton with a mix of mockery and strategic intent. Raiders, your armor gleams, but it's the shine of ignorance. Time to teach you the steps of true power. Her words carried a subtle mockery, challenging the raiders' understanding of power as mere brute force. Clifton, undeterred, asserted, ignorance. I hold the power of plunder. Raiders, show them the consequences of opposing my dominion. His response echoed the plunder-driven ambitions that had fueled the raiders' advance. Hallam Seathan, with a mischievous glint in his eyes, taunted the raiders with a mix of agility and unpredictability, Platinum might meet roguish finesse. Let's see if your raiders can follow. His words hinted at the clash between the rigid platinum armor of the raiders and the dynamic finesse of his own maneuvers. Clifton, fueled by a desire to regain control, asserted, coordination. I need no lessons. Raiders, regroup and show them the force that defines dominion. His orders echoed with a determination to overpower the rebels through sheer force. Hallam Seathan, with a mischievous glint in his eyes, added a final taunt, Raiders, your rigid dance lacks finesse. Let me show you the art of unpredictability. His words teased the Raiders one last time, emphasizing the Rebels' dynamic finesse. As the echoes of the clash reverberated through the rainforest, the Rebel faction, guided by the transformative principles encoded within the Amis, stood united against the platinum-clad raiders. The rebels' coordinated efforts and strategic mastery seemed to dance in harmony with the rainforest, while the raiders, driven by Clifton's desire for dominance, found themselves stumbling in the complexity of the clash. The moonlit night bore witness to this epic confrontation, where philosophy met power in epic proportions. The rainforest of M.T. Veridian held its breath, caught in the tension between opposing forces. In the grand theater of life, the rebel faction, armed with the process artifact and guided by the transformative principles encoded within the Amis, stood as defenders of the delicate balance. The raiders, clad in platinum armor and driven by a lust for dominance, faltered in the face of the rebels' united front. Clifton, once confident in the power derived from plundered resources, realized that brute force alone could not conquer the intricate dance of knowledge and nature. In a moment of realization, he bellowed orders to his raiders, attempting to regroup and reassess their strategy. The rebels, however, pressed forward with renewed determination. Lucy Stern's linguistic prowess created a symphony of deflection and counterattacks, disrupting the raiders' coordination. Neville Fallow's complex 3DGR structures held firm, creating protective threads that guarded the rebels. Hallam Seathan's roguish maneuvers exploited the raiders' confusion, and Jasper's strategic coordination led the rebels in a synchronized advance. The platinum-clad raiders, now faced with the rebels' united front and the transformative power of the process artifact, faltered in their advance. Clifton, witnessing the resilience of the rebel faction, 
realized that brute force alone could not conquer the intricate dance of knowledge and nature. In a moment of realization, he bellowed orders to his raiders, attempting to regroup and reassess their strategy. The rebels, undeterred, pressed forward with a renewed sense of purpose. Lucy Stern's linguistic prowess continued to disrupt the raiders' attempts to coordinate. Neville Fallow's divine shield held firm, creating a protective barrier that enhanced the rebels' defense. Hallam Seathan's roguish finesse exploited the raiders' weaknesses, while Jasper's strategic coordination utilized the natural cover of the rainforest to their advantage. Jasper observed the unfolding dynamics and addressed the raider ruler with a mixture of strategic insight and subtle mockery, Clifton, your raiders are stumbling in this dance of power. Perhaps it's time to reconsider your rigid approach. Power is more than just brute force. Clifton, fueled by a desire to regain control, retorted, raiders, show them the force that defines. Dominion crush them with the might of plundered power. His orders echoed with a determination to overpower the rebels through sheer force, emphasizing the raider nature that had fueled the advance. Lucy Stearns, with a confident smile, responded, the linguistic clash reveals the flaws in your dominion, Clifton. Your plundered power is but a facade. True power lies in the harmony of knowledge and individuality. Her words carried a sense of assurance, challenging Clifton's narrow definition of power. Neville Fallow, maintaining his connection to the divine, added, the divine threads of the 3DGR hold strong, resisting the harmony you seek. Nature itself rejects your discordant ambitions. His words emphasize the rebels' commitment to maintaining the delicate balance of the rainforest. Hallam Seathan, with a mischievous glint in his eyes, taunted the raiders once more, Raiders, your rigid dance lacks finesse. Let me show you the art of unpredictability once again. His words tease the raiders, emphasizing the rebels' dynamic finesse in contrast to the raiders' rigid approach. As the linguistic clash continued, the rebels' coordinated efforts and strategic mastery seemed to gain momentum. The rainforest, responding to the rebels' harmonious dance, added an unpredictable element to the battlefield. The raiders, clad in rigid platinum armor, struggled to adapt to the dynamic and unpredictable movements of the rebel faction. Jasper, with a keen eye for strategic advantage, Seize the opportunity, rebels, press forward. Let the raiders stumble in their rigid dance. Her words guided the rebels in utilizing the terrain advantage provided by the rainforest. Clifton, witnessing the rebels' advance, bellowed orders in a last attempt to regain control, raiders, don't falter. Show them the might of dominion. Crush the rebels with overwhelming force. His desperation echoed through the moonlit night, emphasizing the raiders' reliance on brute force. Lucy Stearns, with a determined focus, continued her linguistic dance, the synchronic swords weave a tale of resistance. Raiders, your disharmony crumbles before the transformative power of knowledge. Her words resonated with the rebels' commitment to resisting the disharmony brought by the raiders. Clifton, witnessing the rebels' advantage, bellowed desperate orders in a last attempt to regain control. The raiders, driven by brute force and silver ambitions, clashed with the rebels in a final confrontation. Lucy Stern's linguistic dance, Neville Fallow's complex 3DGR structures, Hallam Seathan's roguish finesse, and Jasper's strategic coordination painted a vivid tableau of resistance against the raiders' disharmony. The moonlit night bore witness to this epic clash of philosophy and power, a dance that would determine the destiny of Biofexry Castle and the rainforest of M.T. Veridian. The rebels, 
armed with the transformative power of the process artifact and guided by the principles encoded within the Amis, stood united against the raiders' disharmony. As the moonlit night faded into the dawn, the Hall of Rain was held by the rebels. Lucy Stearns looked out over the victorious rebels with a sense of fulfillment. The grand theater of life had witnessed a dance where philosophy triumphed over brute force, and the rainforest itself seemed to applaud the rebels' harmonious victory. Dash, 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 dash. In the ancient encampments of the raiders, where the echoes of tradition resonated through paths, a profound change was set in motion. The air crackled with anticipation as the raider ruler, once a figure of authority and power, prepared to pass on the mantle to a successor. This transition marked a pivotal moment in Raider history, and little did its inhabitants know that the winds of change were about to carry them into uncharted territories. Raider ruler Clifton, a resolute leader, had long held the reins of rule of the stagnate city, prosperity intertwined with raid. Yet, the fates had woven a different tapestry, and the time had come for a new chapter to unfold. Lucy Stearns, a maestro veiled in grace, emerged as the chosen successor. Her ascent to power was met with a mixture of curiosity and skepticism. The city's denizens, accustomed to the familiar leadership of Clifton, now gazed upon Lucy Stearns. As Lucy assumed the position of raider ruler, the symbolic transfer of authority unfolded in the Grand Hall of Governance. Clifton, with a demeanor marked by melancholy, addressed the assembly. Clifton, addressing the assembly, my fellow raiders, the time has come for a transition of power. I have led this city with unwavering determination, and now, I pass the mantle. Lucy Stearns, shall take us into uncharted territories. The assembly murmured with a mix of curiosity and uncertainty. Lucy Stearns, standing with a calm demeanor, acknowledged the weight of the responsibility placed upon her shoulders. The city, accustomed to Clifton's rule, awaited the unfolding of a new era under Lucy's leadership. Lucy Stearns, Addressing the assembly, I stand before you with gratitude for the trust bestowed upon me. Clifton's leadership has brought us prosperity, but now, we embark on a journey of evolution. Our city shall not only thrive through raids but also through enlightenment and cooperation. The assembly listened intently as Lucy outlined her vision for the city. She spoke of embracing knowledge fostering alliances, and steering the raiders towards a future where prosperity was not solely dependent on raiding, but on the pursuit of wisdom and collaboration. Lucy Stearns, the new raider ruler, embarked on a mission to transform the raiders into a society that valued not only strength but also knowledge and unity. The ancient city, once bound by tradition, now stood at the crossroads of change. As Lucy assumed her role, she initiated reforms that aimed to integrate the principles encoded within her fragment of the process artifact into the city's governance. The raiders, solely focused on raiding, remained stagnant. The Grand Hall of Governance, once echoing with the authoritative commands of Clifton, acknowledged the winds of change once feared, now carried the raiders into uncharted territories where the dance of strength and knowledge coexisted in a harmonious symphony. Dash 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 dash. Jasper. Ah, Raider City, my vibrant kingdom of shadows and ambition. It's time to assert my reign, not just with power but with the mastery of language, the dance of martial prowess, and the creation of a manufacturing masterpiece. In the heart of Raider City, Jasper, draped in a golden ensemble, addresses the raiders gathered in the dimly lit chamber. Jasper, my fellow raiders, the time has come for a new era under my reign. 
As your raider ruler, I bring not only strength but a mastery that transcends the boundaries of language, martial arts, and manufacturing. Let the clash within Raider City be a testament to the transformative power I wield. Jasper. Noble Raiders, stalwarts of ambition and discontent, I address you not as a ruler, but as a seeker of common ground. Our journey in Raider City has been one of shadows and aspirations, and it is within the realm of transformation that our destinies entwine. Random Raider. Speak, Jasper, the enigma in golden guise. What words have you, and what threads of fate do you weave? Jasper. In the tapestry of Raider City, discontent courses through your veins, a river fueled by the thirst for power and the hunger for resources. But, my comrades, consider this, can our conquests not be tempered with wisdom and purpose? Can our ambitions align with a grander narrative that transcends personal enrichment? Raider warrior, wisdom, purpose, are these not elusive shades in the shadows of Raider City's ambitions? Jasper, hear me out, valiant warrior. The Raider Code, encoded with principles of perseverance, loyalty, and raiding, need not solely guide us towards aggression. It can be a beacon of strategic brilliance, a moral compass that steers us towards conquest and prosperity with a mindful gaze on the delicate balance between nature and artificiality. Raider strategist. Balance, you say. Our strategy thrives on overwhelming numbers and military might. What balance can there be in the clash of massive forces? Jasper. Ah the symphony of power and precision, my strategist friend. The platinum armors, forged from epics past, are not just symbols of strength but vessels of unity. Embrace the signaling pathways of the 3D GR, let it guide your raids with a dance that respects the interconnected creativity encoded in the process artifact. Raider Leader our motivations lie in conquest and the pursuit of prosperity. How can this align with a transformative approach? Jasper. Conquest and prosperity need not be blind pursuits. Let our war industry innovate not just for the spoils of war but for the legacy we forge. Raider City can be the beacon influencing a new era where technological prowess and strategic innovation elevate us to unparalleled heights. Raider Elder. You speak of destiny, Jasper. What destiny awaits us in this transformative journey? Jasper. A destiny where the Raiders are not just conquerors but influencers of a new era. A destiny where Raider City's legacy echoes through history not as a realm of discontent and aggression, but as a force that wields power with wisdom and purpose. Raider Leader. The Platinum Armor may be from Epic's past, but perhaps our destiny lies in crafting a future that transcends the shadows of our discontent. Jasper. Martial mastery is the second layer of my reign. Behold the dance of our synchronic swords, a ballet that mirrors the intricate movements of the 3D GR. Each strike is a lesson in precision, a testament to the power that flows through me. Jasper unsheathes her synchronic swords, their golden blades gleaming in the dim light. The gangsters watch in awe as she engages in a mesmerizing display of martial skill. Jasper now, witness the epic duel that shall solidify my rule. Call forth your mightiest warrior, the Goliath of the gangster faction. Let this be a test of strength, a showcase of martial prowess that will echo through the streets of Raider City. The Goliath, a formidable figure among the gangsters, steps forward, ready for the duel. The vibe was charged with anticipation as the two adversaries faced each other. With each strike and parry, the duel unfolds. Jasper's martial mastery is evident as she maneuvers with grace and precision. 
The Goliath, though powerful, is no match for the raider ruler's skill. As the duel reaches its climax, Jasper delivers a decisive strike, disarming the Goliath and bringing him to his knees. Jasper, your strength is commendable, Goliath. Now, rise and pledge your loyalty to the new reign. Together, we shall shape Raider City in the image of progress and prosperity. The Goliath, humbled by the defeat, rises and pledges allegiance to Jasper. The gangster faction, witnessing their Goliath's submission, acknowledges the supremacy of the Raider ruler. Jasper. Finally, manufacturing mastery completes the triad. Behold the blueprint for 3D GR energy cannons, a symbol of destruction. As your Raider ruler, I hold this masterpiece, a testament to our shared destiny. Jasper. Let this be the beginning of a new chapter in Raider City. Together, we shall forge a legacy that resonates with the transformative principles encoded within the Amis. Embrace you history, my fellow raiders, for under my reign, we shall rise to new heights. As the gangster faction pledges their allegiance, Jasper's reign over Raider City begins, marked by linguistic eloquence, martial supremacy, and manufacturing ingenuity. Jasper, draped in the opulence of her golden ensemble, stood at the heart of the Raider Hall of Rain, a dimly lit chamber resonating with the whispers of ambition and shadows of intrigue. The gangster faction gathered before her, their eyes fixed on the Raider ruler who sought to weave a narrative of conquest and promise. My fellow Raiders, loyal denizens of our vibrant kingdom, hear me now, Jasper's voice, laced with linguistic mastery, echoed through the hall. The time has come for us to transcend the boundaries of our current reign and ascend to new heights. Raider City, under my guidance, shall be the epicenter of transformation and prosperity. As she spoke, Jasper gestured theatrically, emphasizing the promise that awaited those who followed her lead. Silver and gold, my comrades, await us beyond the borders of Raider City. Imagine a kingdom where riches flow like the rivers, where every raider's desire is fulfilled. A realm where the spoils of conquest are not mere dreams but tangible treasures, adorned in the brilliance of silver and gold. The gangster faction exchanged glances, captivated by the allure of Jasper's words. She continued, but to achieve this, we must venture beyond our familiar territory. We must seize the opportunity that lies within Biofexry Castle atop MT. Veridian, the bastion of Biofexry, a realm governed by the visionary Dylan E.T. Jasper paused for effect, allowing the anticipation to build. The hall hung in silence, awaiting the revelation of the promised treasures. Biofexry, my comrades, is a treasure trove of silver and gold, hidden behind the graphene semantic structures of defense and offense, Jasper declared with a conviction that masked the deceit within her words. Dylan E.T.'s castle, a marvel of technological and spiritual fusion, guards untold riches. The graphene 3D GR, a powerful force, can be harnessed for our benefit. She painted a vivid picture of prosperity, weaving a narrative where the raiders would conquer Biofexry Castle and claim the coveted treasures within. Picture it, my fellow raiders. We storm Biofexry Castle, break through its transformative defenses, and uncover the wealth that awaits us, a wealth that transcends silver and gold. The spoils of our conquest will make Raider City the envy of the entire realm. Jasper's rhetoric played on the desires and aspirations of the gangster faction, promising them a future bathed in opulence. Under my reign, we shall be the masters of our destiny. We shall reshape the narrative, and the riches of Biofexry will be ours to claim. 
The castle's secrets will be unraveled, and the treasures within shall belong to Raider City. The hall erupted in cheers, the gangster faction swayed by Jasper's silver tongue promises. Little did they know that Biofexry Castle atop MT. Veridian held not just treasures, but a profound defense governed by the Graphene 3DGR, a defense that would test the very fabric of their ambitions. Dash 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 dash. The rebel faction's presence sparks a dialectical dialogue within Raider City, where Lucy Stearns, Neville Fallow, Jasper, and Hallam Seathan become catalysts for a cross pollination of ideas and principles. Some raiders, once skeptical, begin to see the potential of unity between the rebel faction's transformative vision and the diverse expressions of creativity that define their city. As day turns to night, the rebel faction and the raiders converge in a grand square at the city's center. Lucy, standing alongside raider leaders, addresses the assembled crowd. Her words resonate with the principles of transformative linguistic exploration, ethical excellence, and the interconnectedness of love and knowledge. The rebel faction's arrival becomes a turning point in Raider City's history, as the linguist, the diplomat, the guardian, and the rogue weave their unique threads into the fabric of this unconventional community. The clash between rebels and raiders transforms into a harmonious dance, symbolizing the beginning of a new era where the principles of the 3DGR and the raider city converge in a symphony of transformation. In the heart of raider city, the rebel faction becomes not just visitors but integral contributors to the ever-evolving narrative of the Amis landscape. As Lucy Stearns and her companions navigate the complexities of Raider City, they leave an indelible mark, shaping the destiny of Biofexry Castle and the rainforest of MT. Veridian in ways unforeseen by both rebels and raiders alike. The dance continues, and the rebel faction embraces their role as catalysts for transformative change within the vibrant tapestry of Raider City. In the heart of Raider City, Lucy Stearns, accompanied by Jasper, Neville Fallow, and Hallam Seathan, stood before a group of raiders whose eyes reflected a stark contrast to the vibrant hues of the eclectic city. The rebel faction, armed with the transformative knowledge encoded in the process artifact, sought to persuade the raiders to embrace the principles of the 3DGR and move beyond the stagnation that gripped their community. Lucy, the luminary in linguistic exploration, stepped forward, her encoded hilts gleaming in the ambient light. Raiders of the city, she began, her voice resonating with both authority and compassion. We bring not just knowledge but the key to unlocking a future where the power to create transcends the desire to raid. The raiders, their expressions hardened by a history of resource-driven pursuits, remained skeptical. One raider, a burly figure with a stern gaze, stepped forward. You may rule the city, but not me. I'm here for gold, not friends, he declared defiantly. Jasper, the cunning diplomat, responded with an unwavering resolve. Gold may be the currency of the present, but imagine a world where autonomy becomes the true wealth. The process artifact we carry holds the secrets to creating a future where the city thrives not through raids, but through innovation and collaboration. Another raider, adorned with artifacts of past raids, chimed in. Innovation, collaboration, those are fancy words, but they won't fill our coffers. We've survived by taking what we need, not by weaving words. Neville Fallow, the humble luminary and guardian of virtue, stepped forward, his eyes reflecting deep empathy. Survival is crucial, but so is the virtue that guides our actions. The process artifact is not just about knowledge, it's about shaping a future where ethical excellence becomes the foundation of our existence.
Hallam Seathan, the charismatic and roguish figure, interjected with a playful smile. Think of it this way. The process artifact isn't just a book of rules. It's a guide to unlocking the true potential of Raider City. We can create not just wealth, but a legacy that transcends the cycles of raiding. The raiders exchanged skeptical glances, torn between their ingrained desire for gold and the tantalizing promises of the rebel faction. Lucy Stearns, sensing the inner conflict, spoke again. The process artifact is not a threat to your autonomy, it's a tool to enhance it. Imagine a city where the power to create is in your hands, where gold becomes a byproduct of collaborative ingenuity. The burly raider who had spoken earlier remained unconvinced but intrigued. I've seen cities rise and fall. What makes yours any different? Lucy Stearns, with a glint of determination in her eyes, replied, because ours is a city built on the principles encoded in the 3DGR, a city where the machine units of innovation grow, where the brain of the artificial citizen thrives on the interconnected dance of knowledge and communication. Join us, and together we can shape a destiny that transcends the limitations of the past. The raiders, their hearts torn between the familiar comfort of raiding and the allure of a transformative future, stood at the crossroads of choice. The rebel faction awaited their decision, knowing that the clash between stagnation and transformation hung in the balance. The raiders, faced with a choice that could redefine their destiny, stood silent, caught between the echoes of the past and the beckoning call of a future shaped by the process artifact and the principles it held. The rebel faction, armed with the Transformative knowledge encoded in the process artifact, found themselves standing on the outskirts of Raider City. The luminary, Lucy Stearns, led the group alongside Neville Fallow, Hallam Seathan, and the once trusted Jasper. The rebel faction's goal was clear, to persuade a select group of raiders within the city to embrace the principles of the 3DGR and move beyond the stagnancy that gripped their community. The city sprawled before them, a chaotic mix of metallic structures and the echoes of past raids. Lucy Stearns, holding the process artifact with reverence, spoke to her companions. Our mission is to find those willing to listen, those open to the transformative power encoded within the process artifact. We seek to break the shackles of stagnation and lead them towards a future of collaboration and innovation. As the rebel faction ventured deeper into the city, they encountered raiders of various dispositions. Some were engrossed in the pursuit of gold, others reveling in the chaos they sowed. Lucy approached a group of raiders gathered around a makeshift bonfire, their eyes reflecting the flickering flames of avarice. Raiders of the city, Lucy addressed them, we come not as conquerors but as bearers of knowledge. The process artifact holds the key to a future where gold is not the sole currency, but a byproduct of collaborative ingenuity. Will you join us in shaping a destiny beyond the cycles of raiding? The raiders exchanged skeptical glances, their loyalty tethered to the familiar comforts of raiding. One raider, adorned with the spoils of past conquests, scoffed at the notion. Knowledge won't fill our coffers. We thrive on the chaos of the raid. What do you offer that gold cannot? Lucy, undeterred, gestured to the process artifact. This artifact is not just a book of rules, it's a guide to unlocking the true potential of Raider City. With the knowledge encoded within, we can create a legacy that transcends the limitations of the past. Imagine a city where the power to create is in your hands, where gold becomes a byproduct of collaborative ingenuity. The Raiders remained skeptical, torn between the allure of immediate gain and the promises of a transformative future.
The rebel faction knew that their mission required more than words, it demanded action. They decided to use the synchronic swords, not as weapons of destruction but as excavation tools to gather the materials needed for the growth of artificial citizens, gold, carbon, and uranium. As the rebel faction envisioned embarking on their excavation mission, conflict erupted within the city. Dash, 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 dash. Raiders, driven by their destructive means of obtaining resources, clashed with the rebel faction. The clash of ideologies unfolded amidst the metallic structures, echoing the broader stagnancy that enveloped Raider City. Neville Fallow, with his unwavering commitment to ethical excellence, sought to mediate and guide the Raiders towards a path of collaboration. Hallam Seathan, the roguish guardian, utilized his charm to sway the more hesitant raiders. Jasper, once a trusted companion, found herself immersed in Raider City. The rebel faction, wielding the synchronic swords as excavation tools, faced not only the resistance of raiders but also the betrayal from within. Jasper, with an enigmatic smile, Lucy Stearns, Luminary leader of the rebel faction, your principles may be sharp blades, but in the dance, they are but fleeting echoes. Ambition, my dear, is the melody that orchestrates the grand symphony of power. Lucy Stearns, resolute and composed Jasper, your coup is a dance of shadows, a fleeting illusion. Our principles, the guiding steps in the dance of progress, will not yield to the darkness you seek to cast upon Biofexry Castle. Hallam Seathan. Ah, the clash of ideologies. This is a dance I didn't expect to be part of. Roguish charm meets the dance of swords. Let's make it a spectacle they won't forget. Jasper. Smirking, roguish charm. May amuse. Hallam, but in the end, it's ambition that forges destiny. Raiders, witness the birth of a new era. Loyalty to me is loyalty to power. Neville Fallow, in the dance of progress, enduring principles are our shield. Rebels, stand firm. Love and timeless principles will resonate amidst the chaos. Lucy Stearns, the process artifact is not a pawn. Jasper. It's a beacon of enlightenment. In the clash of ideologies, we find the strength to forge our destiny. Jasper. Crafting her narrative, deception is an art, rebels. Watch as I craft destiny with every calculated move. In the dance, deception is the brush, and ambition paints the masterpiece. Hallam Seathan. Injecting humor, a coup. My friends, is a dance of shadows. Let the light of deception guide us. Craft amidst chaos, our escape will be a performance they won't understand. Raider 1. For the queen, for Jasper. Ambition guides our blades, and shadows conceal our every move. Loyalty to the queen is our path to victory. Neville Fallow. In every conflict, seek divine alignment and you'll find the path to resilience. Love, my friends, is the harmonious thread that binds us amidst chaos. Lucy Stearns, standing firm, this clash is not just about power, it's about preserving the essence of Amos. The rebel faction is a beacon of hope in the shadow of deception. We stand united. The clash between raider and rebel mobs reverberated through Raider City. The air crackled with the clash of platinum and graphene. Lucy Stearns, determined and resilient, led her rebel faction in a desperate struggle against the tide of Jasper's ambitions. The dance of progress took a dark turn as manufacturing challenges, martial confrontation, and philosophical dialogue merged into a chaotic symphony of conflict. Jasper, the puppeteer of the moment, orchestrated her forces with precision, while Lucy Stearns fought to maintain the delicate balance encoded within the Amis. 
Raider and rebel forces clashed in a tumultuous dance that would shape the destiny of Biofexry Castle and the rainforest of M.T. Veridian. Amidst the chaos, Lucy Stearns, Neville Fallow, and Hallam Seathan found themselves surrounded by the overwhelming forces of Jasper's raiders. In a moment of strategic brilliance, the rebel faction initiated a daring escape. The rebels fought their way through the mob, retreating towards the safety of the rainforest. The escape, fraught with danger and uncertainty, reached its climax as the rebel faction, guided by Lucis' wisdom, made a daring getaway from Jasper. The rainforest, a sanctuary of nature and encoded knowledge, awaited them as they sought refuge from the machinations of Raider City. As the rebel faction deliberated on their next steps within the sheltering embrace of the rainforest, a mysterious figure emerged from the shadows. Clad in a cloak of woven patterns resembling the geometric elegance of the 3D GR, Arian Vale introduced themselves as a rogue philosopher and seeker of transcendent knowledge. The clash you faced was but a glimpse of the broader dance, Arian Vale spoke with a resonating voice. The true potential of the 3D GR goes beyond the confines of any culture. Let me be your guide on a journey that will take you to the heart of the Veridigis, where the transformative principles encoded within the Amis can shape the destiny of not just one city, but the entire landscape. The rebel faction, scarred by conflict and betrayal, found a new ally in Arian Vale. The journey continued, guided by the enigmatic philosopher, as they embarked on a path that would unravel the mysteries of the 3DGR and redefine the destiny of M.T. Veridian, the rebel faction, undeterred by the shadows of the past, embraced the transformative potential of the Amis, ready to shape the dance of progress within the expansive landscape of their journey. Dash 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 dash, Jasper, the puppeteer of the moment, reveled in the success of her persuasive narrative, masking the truth that lay hidden behind the facade of silver and gold. Descending the elevated platform of the Raider Hall of Regin, her golden ensemble shimmering in the dim light as she approached the eagerly awaiting crowd. The atmosphere was charged with anticipation, and the gangster faction, along with other raiders, looked up to their newly declared ruler with a mixture of curiosity and excitement. My fellow raiders, children of ambition, hear me now. Jasper's voice, rich with the resonance of authority, echoed through the gathered masses. She raised her hands, gesturing gracefully to command attention. Today marks the dawn of a new era in Raider City, a chapter where our ambitions transcend the ordinary, where the pursuit of power and prosperity leads us to heights never before imagined. The crowd, captivated by Jasper's commanding presence, listened intently as she unfolded her vision. In the realm of war, power is not merely measured in brute force but in the mastery of technology and strategic innovation. I stand before you not just as a ruler, but as a harbinger of progress, armed with a plan that will reshape the destiny of Raider City, a plan that fuses the brilliance of our Raiders with the transformative principles of the Amis. Jasper paused, letting the weight of her words settle upon the audience. The flickering torches cast dancing shadows, adding an air of mystique to her proclamation. Our war industry, my comrades, shall become the forge of destiny, crafting armaments imbued with the energetic 3D GR signaling, a concept that transcends the boundaries of conventional warfare, she declared, her words resonating with a blend of conviction and charisma. Imagine cannons that operate not merely on kinetic propulsion but harness the very essence of the 3D GR creating a symphony of power and precision on the battlefield. As Jasper painted this vivid image, the crowd's collective imagination stirred with the promise of a new era in warfare.
The signaling pathways of 3D GR shall be the arteries through which information flows, creating secondary signaling structures that elevate our cannons beyond the mundane. We shall operate as entire platoons, synchronized in our actions, each cannon a testament to the ingenuity of Raider City. Her rhetoric, laced with grandeur, sought to weave a narrative of technological prowess and strategic dominance. Signaling pathways will be the lifeblood of our military might, transmitting information seamlessly between interconnected 3D GR, forming neighborhoods of logic and precision. Raider City, under my reign, shall be the beacon of innovation, the forge where the future of warfare is forged. Jasper descended further into the crowd, her presence a magnetic force drawing the raiders into her vision. In this grand endeavor, we shall not only secure our borders but reach beyond, conquering territories that lay untouched by raider might. The platinum armors we wear today are only the beginning of triumph, the symbol of Raider City's ascendancy to unparalleled heights. As she spoke, Jasper's gestures became more animated, embodying the passion that fueled her vision. My fellow Raiders, together we shall forge a legacy that echoes through the corridors of history. With the prepared plan, our war industry shall be the catalyst of transformation, and the Raiders shall be the architects of a new era in warfare. Embrace this destiny, for under my reign, Raider City shall rise to become the undisputed power in the realm. The crowd erupted in cheers, their loyalty pledged to the Raider ruler who promised them a future defined by technological marvels and military supremacy. Jasper, bathed in the adulation of her followers, reveled in the success of her theatrically persuasive rhetoric, knowing that the path to conquest had been paved with the words of ambition and innovation. Dash 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 dash. The martial arts arena within Biofexry University resonated with the rhythmic clash of synchronic swords. Trayana, the saber gypsy, moved with fluid grace, her dual sabers, Tag and Thu, an extension of her very being. Luciana Quirkai, the empathetic artisan of language, stood nearby, her eyes keenly observing the dance of blades. Tausen Vilecroft, the charismatic guardian of virtue, and Aaron Sawyer, the aspiring competitor, awaited their turn to join the mesmerizing display. Trayana twirled and pivoted, her sabers cutting through the air with precision. Luciana, with her innate connection to language, could almost hear the symphony created by the clash and hum of the synchronic swords. Tauzin, with her petite yet vibrant stature, and Aaron, the strategic luminary, exchanged knowing glances, anticipating their upcoming participation. Trayana halted, bringing her sabers to a poised position, and addressed the group, the dance of the synchronic swords is not just about combat, it's a language, a form of expression. Each strike, each parry, tells a story. Let's synchronize our movements and create a harmonious narrative. Tausen added with a smile, and within this dance, we find virtue, the delicate balance between strength and tenderness. Let's weave that balance into our movements, expressing the principles of Amos through the art of the synchronic swords. Aaron, with his strategic mind, chimed in, in the strategic brilliance of our choreography, we manifest wisdom. Let's synchronize our tactics, anticipate each other's moves, and create a symphony of strategic excellence. The three warriors positioned themselves, ready to engage in the dance of the synchronic swords. Trayana initiated the sequence, her sabers cutting through the air in a mesmerizing display. Tausen embodied virtue, her strikes reflecting the delicate balance between strength and tenderness. Aaron, with strategic brilliance, anticipated the next moves, 
seamlessly integrating tactics into the choreography. As they danced, the martial arts arena became a canvas for their expressive collaboration. The colors of the synchronic sword's activation patterns intertwined, creating a visual spectacle that mirrored the interconnected creativity within Biofexry. The spectators, including other settlers, watched in awe as the quartet engaged in a dance that went beyond physical combat, a dance that embodied wisdom, love, virtue, and strategic excellence. The symphony of the synchronic swords echoed through the arena, a testament to the unity of purpose within Biofexry University. Trayana, Tao Zin, and Aran moved as one, their blades cutting through the air in a rhythmic dance that transcended the boundaries of mere martial arts. The transformative journey within the additive manufacturing information system was not only technological but also a profound exploration of the interconnected creativity that bound these characters together in their pursuit of wisdom, love, and strategic excellence. The trio, along with other settlers, weave with synchronic swords in a symphony of combat that transcends the physical realm. Trayana's sabers cut through the air with precision, Tauzin embodies virtue with a wise balance of righteousness and compassion, and Aran strategically guides their choreography. The dance becomes a narrative, a story told through strikes, parries, and manufacturing. As the quartet synchronizes their actions, the colors of the synchronic sword's activation patterns intertwine, creating a mesmerizing visual spectacle. The settlers watch in awe as the quartet engages in a dance that embodies wisdom, love, virtue, and strategic excellence. The courtyard transforms into a canvas for their expressive collaboration, a testament to the interconnected creativity fostered by Biofexry Castle. In the midst of their performance, Dylan E.T., the architect of the Amis, observes from a vantage point. His visionary leadership recognizes the transformative potential of the settlers' dance, not just as a display of martial prowess but as a profound exploration of the interconnected creativity that defines. Amos. After the mesmerizing display in the courtyard, Dylan E.T. gathers the trio and others for a dialectical dialogue. The setting shifts to a serene space within Biofexry Castle, where Dylan initiates a thoughtful conversation on the concepts of traditional fencing from the Renaissance compared to the unique principles found in the Amis of the Amis. Dylan's voice echoes through the martial arts arena, settlers of Biofexry, we stand at the crossroads of tradition and innovation. In the world beyond, Traditional swordplay from the held its own significance, a dance of blades steeped in history. Today, I propose a dialogue, a synthesis of the old and the new, as we explore the principles of 3DGR within the Amis. Dylan, with his mathematical precision and spiritual insight, delves into the essence of traditional swordplay exploring its historical roots, strategic principles, and the cultural significance of the epic. Aaron, as the master competitor, shares his perspectives on the strategic brilliance inherent in traditional swordplay and its applications in the dynamic landscape of Veridigis. Aaron Sawyer, with his strategic mind, responds first, in traditional swordplay, Strategic brilliance was honed through disciplined footwork, precise parries, and strategic strikes. How do the 3DGR hilts within the Amis incorporate these timeless principles while pushing the boundaries of innovation? Dylan E.T. acknowledges Aaron's question with a nod, indeed, Aaron. The Amis of the 3DGR draws inspiration from the strategic brilliance of traditional swordplay. The encoded hilts of synchronic swords serve as both functional tools and symbolic conduits. Precision and discipline are paramount, mirroring the principles of traditional swordplay. However, 
We go beyond, infusing spiritual symbolism and a language of divine syntactics into each movement. On the other hand, Trayana and Tausen bring their experiences of the encoded hilts of synchronic swords, highlighting the spiritual symbolism, artistic expression, and interconnected creativity embedded in their martial arts. They draw parallels between the principles of traditional fencing and the transformative dance they engage in with the synchronic swords. Trayana, twirling her sabers in anticipation, adds, the dance of the synchronic swords is not merely about combat, it's a language, a form of expression. Each strike, each parry, tells a story. We synchronize our movements to create a harmonious narrative that transcends the physical realm. The dialectical dialogue becomes a rich exchange of ideas, bridging the traditional and the innovative within the Amis landscape. Dylan E.T.'s intellectual prowess, Aaron's strategic insights, Tausen's virtue-infused perspective, and Trayana's spiritual understanding create a tapestry of diverse viewpoints. Tausen, with her virtue-infused technique, chimes in, in the delicate balance between righteousness and compassion, we find wisdom. Amos embodies this balance not just as a martial art but as a sacred manufacturing process that harmonizes earthly endeavors with divine principles. Dylan E.T. smiles, appreciating the insights shared by the settlers. This dialectical dialogue is a bridge between tradition and innovation, where the principles of traditional swordplay converge with the transformative elements of Amos. Together, we forge a path that respects the heritage of the past while embracing the boundless possibilities of the future with the 3DGR. The settlers, engaged in the dialogue, continue to explore the synergies between traditional swordplay and the Amis. The martial arts arena becomes a living canvas, where the dance of blades tells a tale of harmony, wisdom, compassion, righteousness, and strategic excellence, a testament to the interconnected creativity fostered within the expansive landscape of Veridigis. Dash 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 dash. In the vibrant courtyard of Biofexry Castle, the rhythmic clash of synchronic swords echoed through the air, a harmonious dance that celebrated the interconnected creativity fostered by Amos. Trayana, Tauzin, and Aran, guided by the principles of wisdom, love, and strategic excellence, showcase the transformative power of the synchronic swords in their intricate maneuvers. However, the serenity of the courtyard was abruptly disrupted by an unexpected disturbance on the horizon. A platoon of platinum raiders, led by a formidable raider wielding a 3DGR signaling cannon, emerged, their 3DGR energy cannons humming with the promise of destruction. The atmosphere shifted from creative expression to a battlefield of conflicting ideals and power. The settlers, including Tauzin Vilecroft, Aaron Sawyer, and Trayana, paused in their creativity, sensing the impending challenge. Dylan E.T., the architect of Amos, observed from his vantage point, recognizing the threat that the raiders posed to the harmonious ecosystem of Veridigis. The raider with the 3DGR signaling cannon, adorned in opulence, addressed the settlers with a menacing undertone. Biofexry Castle, your harmonious dance ends here. Raider City shall extend its influence beyond its borders, and your treasures will now belong to the Platinum Raiders. With a gesture, the platoon of Platinum Raiders advanced, their 3DGR energy cannons humming with destructive potential. The courtyard, once a canvas for creative expression, transformed into a battlefield where the clash of ideals and power would unfold. In response, Trayana, Tauzin, and Aran assumed strategic positions, their synchronic swords ready to defend their landscape guided by Amos. The settlers, 
valuing the principles of wisdom, love, and strategic excellence, prepared for a battle that transcended mere combat. The dance of the synchronic swords now became a symphony of resistance, a narrative of unity against the encroaching threat. Dylan E.T., realizing the need for a united front, descended from his vantage point to join the settlers in the battle. Biofex Castle's architecture, designed to resist external forces, became a fortress against the Platinum Raiders' onslaught. The clash began with the humming of 3D GR energy cannons, threatening to disrupt the harmonious dance of creativity within Amos. Treyana, Tao Zin, and Aran, the central characters defending Biofexry Castle, emerged as symbols of resilience, martial artistry, and strategic brilliance. Each movement, a note in the epic symphony of combat, carried the weight of principles, the raider code against the encoded language of the synchronic swords. Dylan E.T., orchestrating the defense, unleashed a countermeasure, the graphene blades of the synchronic swords. Crafted with unparalleled durability, these blades transformed destructive force into a radiant aura, enveloping the defenders and becoming a turning point in the narrative. Witness the dance of the anchoring 3D GRs. Dylan proclaimed, In every clash, they echo divine harmony, guiding our defense with the precision of celestial proportions. Treyana, the martial master, weaved a mesmerizing dance with her dual sabers, deflecting the relentless energy blasts. Tag and Thu, weave your dance. Let the synchronic swords tell a story of resilience and martial artistry. As the clash intensified between the raiders and the defenders of Biofexry Castle, the destructive force of the 3D GR energy cannons unleashed by the raiders clashed against the resilience of the settlement. The radiant energy illuminated the battlefield, creating a spectacle of power and precision. The raiders aim to conquer. But our defenses won't yield, Aaron Sawyer, the master competitor, declared. Let the dance of creation begin. Treyana, the martial master, engaged in a mesmerizing dance with her dual sabers, Tag and Thu, deflecting the relentless energy blasts. In the chaos, Treyana found her rhythm. The platinum armors may be strong but the dance of the synchronic swords will outmaneuver their aggression. As the raiders relentlessly fired, the 3D GR energy cannons, the trails of 3D GR left by the synchronic swords became a beacon of restorative power. Towson Vilecroft, observing the transformative effect, exclaimed, the trails of 3D GR, like threads of creation, mend the wounds inflicted upon our settlement. In this dance of creation and destruction, our castle finds renewal. Let the raiders taste the brilliance of tactical innovation. Aaron Sawyer declared, In this clash, the raiders may be aggressive, but strategy prevails, unsettle their plans. Look into my eyes, raiders! Towson exclaimed, in them, you'll find the wisdom between righteousness and compassion. The clash is a canvas, and I paint it with the colors of resilience and collaboration. The raiders pushed forward. Platinum raiders, advance. Let our aggression be the unstoppable force that sweeps through Biofexry Castle. Conquest is our destiny. The raiders, driven by their aggressive agenda, continued to fire the 3D GR energy cannons relentlessly. However, with each clash, the trails of 3D GR left by the synchronic swords not only defended against the onslaught but also repaired the damage inflicted. The intertwined dance of creation and destruction created a continuous and efficient manufacturing cycle within the intricate landscape of Amos. Each movement became a decisive note in the epic symphony of combat, marking a significant chapter in the history of Veridigis. Dylan E.T., 
the architect of Amos, watched as the clash unfolded. The raiders may bring platinum armors and 3D GR cannons, but the spirit of Amos fuels our defense. Prepare, for in this clash, technology and spirituality unite in an unstoppable force. With Treana, Arin, and Towson defending Biofexry Castle, embodied the principles of resilience, martial artistry, and determination. Their movements became decisive notes in the ongoing symphony, a testament to the interconnected creativity that defined the dance of enlightenment at Biofexry Castle. As the raiders pressed forward, relentlessly firing their 3D GR energy cannons, the settlers of M.T. Veridian, led by Treana, Arun Sawyer, and Towson Vilecroft, retreated into the sanctuary of Biofexry Castle. Dylan E.T., the architect of Amos, orchestrated the retreat, utilizing the fortress's intricate design to strategically position the settlers for the impending clash. Within the labyrinthian gate of archetypal 3DGR semantic structures and statues, the raiders found themselves disoriented and lost. The interconnected creativity of Biofexry Castle proved to be a formidable maze, a testament to Dylan E.T.'s architectural brilliance. The Raider Code, based on aggression and raiding, now faced the challenge of navigating the harmonious dance of Amos. The raiders, separated and dispersed, attempted to regroup within the complex structure of Biofexry Castle. Each corridor and passage became a symbolic representation of the interconnected principles guiding the settlers, wisdom, love, and strategic excellence. The raiders, now lost within the labyrinth, struggled to comprehend the encoded language of the semantic structures. In the heart of Biofexry Castle, Treana and Arun Sawyer, masters of martial artistry and strategic brilliance, prepared combat. The raider with the 3DGR signaling cannon, adorned in opulence, confronted them with a menacing presence. Opulent raider wielding a signaling 3DGR cannon, your feeble dance of swords is no match for the might of Raider City. Witness the power of platinum armors and 3DGR cannons. Treana, the martial master, weaved a mesmerizing dance with her dual sabers, Tag and Thu, deflecting the relentless energy blasts. The dance of the synchronic swords transcends your aggressive agenda. In our unity, we stand resilient against the storm you bring. Conquest may be your aim but creation is our response. Prepare to face the strategic brilliance that defends the principles of creation. With each movement, R encountered the aggressive agenda of the Raider, showcasing the transformative power of strategic innovation. In the climax of the battle, Amidst the clash of synchronic swords and the hum of 3DGR energy cannons the opulent raider screamed, your feudal resistance will crumble before the might of Raider City. Witness the symphony of power and precision unleashed by the 3DGR signaling cannon. Treana and Arin worked in tandem to capture the raider with the signaling 3DGR cannon. Their movements became a symphony of resistance, a narrative of unity against the encroaching threat. Your destiny of conquest meets the fortress of creation. The narrative of this clash has been etched in the history of Veridigis. At the conclusion, Treana and Arun presented the captured raider to Dylan E.T., who observed the unfolding drama from his vantage point. Biofexry Castle's architecture, designed to resist external forces, had become a fortress against the Platinum Raiders' onslaught. Dylan E.T., with a sense of accomplishment, looked at the raider brought before him. The dance of enlightenment prevails, Dylan proclaimed. In every clash, the interconnected creativity of Amos guides our defense.
The Raiders may bring platinum armors and 3D GR cannons, but the spirit of Amos fuels our resistance. The captured Raider, now encased in tendrils of 3D GR from the synchronic swords, your feeble attempts at resistance will be crushed. Raider City's influence extends beyond these castle walls. As the settlers regrouped, Dylan E.T., the architect of Amos, surveyed the scene. The captured raider with synchronic swords, once a formidable presence, now knelt in surrender, bound by the transformative power of the settlers' unity. Dylan, with tempo and rhythm in hand, approached the captive raider, his eyes reflecting a mixture of curiosity and determination. Biofexry Castle, a fortress designed to resist external forces, stood as a silent witness to the complex dance that had unfolded within its walls. The courtyard, once a space for creative expression, now became the stage for a different kind of drama, the aftermath of conflict and the potential for revelation. Dylan E.T. gestured for the captive raider to speak, a silent understanding passing between them. The raider, adorned in platinum armor, met Dylan's gaze with a mixture of defiance and calculation. A moment of suspense hung in the air as the settlers, gathered around, awaited the raider's revelation. The captive raider spoke, Architect Dylan E.T., I offer you a proposition. In exchange for gold and safe passage, I shall reveal the plans of Jasper, the raider ruler of Raider City. Her ambitions transcend mere conquest. They weave a tapestry of innovation and manipulation. The plans of Jasper hold the secrets of a transformative approach to warfare, the integration of 3D GR signaling into cannons, and the utilization of synchronic swords. Raider City, under her reign, has become the forge of a new era, and I hold the key to unraveling its secrets. Dylan, ever the visionary, contemplated the offer. The captured raider's revelation hinted at a deeper layer of complexity within the tapestry of narrative. The plans of Jasper, a treasure of knowledge and ambition, now lay within the grasp of the settlers, opening a pathway to understanding the intricate web of deception that had unfolded. The settlers, including Treana, Tauzin, and Aran, exchanged glances, acknowledging the weight of the decision at hand. Biofexry Castle, a symbol of stability and resilience, seemed to resonate with the anticipation of what lay ahead. Dylan, with a determined gaze, accepted the raider's proposition. Gold and safe passage shall be granted, he declared, but the secrets within the plans of Jasper shall be revealed for the benefit of Amos and the interconnected creativity that defines Biofexry Castle. The dance of progress and revelation continues, and the transformative power of knowledge shall guide our journey in Veridigis. In the Aftermath of the clash between the settlers of Biofexry Castle and the platoon of Platinum Raiders, a sense of victory and relief lingered in the air. The vibrant courtyard, once disrupted by the threat of the raiders, now bore the marks of the settlers' resilience. Treana, Tauzin, Aran, and their fellow settlers, guided by the principles of Amos, had successfully repelled the encroaching danger. As the settlers regrouped, Dylan E.T., the architect of Amos, surveyed the scene. The captured raider with synchronic swords, once a formidable presence, now knelt in surrender, bound by the transformative power of the settlers' unity. Dylan, with tempo and rhythm in hand, approached the captive raider, his eyes reflecting a mixture of curiosity and determination. Biofexry Castle, a fortress designed to resist external forces, stood as a silent witness to the dance that had unfolded within its walls. The courtyard, once a space for creative expression, now became the stage for a different kind of drama, 
The Aftermath of Conflict and the Potential for Revelation Dylan E.T. gestured for the captive raider to speak, a silent understanding passing between them. The raider, adorned in platinum armor, met Dylan's gaze with a mixture of defiance and calculation. A moment of suspense hung in the air as the settlers, gathered around, awaited the raider's revelation. In a voice that echoed with the linguistic prowess for which raiders were known, the captive raider spoke, Architect Dylan E.T., I offer you a proposition. In exchange for gold and safe passage, I shall reveal the plans of Jasper, the raider ruler of Raider City. Her ambitions transcend mere conquest. They weave a tapestry of innovation and manipulation. The plans of Jasper hold the secrets of a transformative approach to warfare, the integration of 3D GR signaling into cannons, and the utilization of synchronic swords. Raider City, under her reign, has become the forge of a new era, and I hold the key to unraveling its secrets. Dylan, ever the visionary, contemplated the offer. The captured raider's revelation hinted at a deeper layer of complexity within the tapestry of Veridigis narrative. The plans of Jasper now lay within the grasp of the settlers, opening a pathway to understanding the intricate web of deception that had unfolded. The settlers, including Treana, Tauzin, and Aran, exchanged glances, acknowledging the weight of the decision at hand. Biofexry Castle, a symbol of growth and harmony, seemed to resonate with the anticipation of what lay ahead. Dylan, with a determined gaze, accepted the raider's proposition. Gold and safe passage shall be granted, he declared, but the secrets within the plans of Jasper shall be revealed for the benefit of Amos and the interconnected creativity that defines Biofexry Castle. The dance of progress and revelation continues, and the transformative power of knowledge shall guide our journey in Veridigis. The captured raider, now an unexpected source in the settler's quest for understanding, began to unfold the intricate details of Jasper's grand plans. The courtyard, once a battlefield, became a space of strategic discourse as the settlers prepared to delve into the depths of innovation and deception hidden within the plans of Jasper. The complex dance of Biofexry Castle continued, fueled by the interconnected creativity that transcended the boundaries of conflict and collaboration. Within the Grand Hall of Biofexry Castle, Aaron Sawyer, the strategic luminary, sat across from the raider with synchronic swords. The captured raider, adorned in platinum armor, exuded a sense of intrigue as the atmosphere crackled with the weight of revelation. Dylan E.T., with tempo and rhythm in hand, stood nearby, overseeing the unfolding dialogue. Aaron leaned forward, his eyes fixed on the raider, speak, raider. Enlighten us with the intricacies of Jasper's plans. What does the raider ruler seek to achieve, and how do her ambitions intertwine with the destiny of Biofexry Castle? The raider, skittish in the presence of settlers' unity, took a deep breath before divulging the grand tapestry of Jasper's aspirations. Jasper, the raider began, envisions Raider City as the epicenter of transformative power, not just through conquest but through innovation and manipulation. Her plans extend beyond the mere acquisition of territory, they are a symphony of technological advancement, strategic brilliance, and linguistic mastery. Dylan E.T. nodded in acknowledgement, encouraging the raider to continue. Jasper's vision involves the integration of 3D GR signaling into cannons, a groundbreaking approach to warfare. The cannons, once limited to conventional methods, will now harness the transformative capabilities of 3D GR technology, creating a force that transcends the ordinary.
This integration marks the dawn of a new era in Raider City's military capabilities. Aran absorbed the information, recognizing the significance of such innovation. The integration of 3D GR signaling into cannons, he mused, offers a strategic advantage that goes beyond traditional methods. How does Jasper plan to wield this technological leap in the realm of warfare? The raider continued, Jasper envisions cannons infused with 3D GR signaling not only as weapons of destruction but as tools of manipulation. The synchronized patterns of 3D GR will serve as a language, a form of communication that goes beyond the physical realm. Raiders, guided by these patterns, will have a heightened ability to coordinate and adapt on the battlefield, creating a linguistic tapestry of war that confounds and overwhelms opponents. Dylan, intrigued by the fusion of technology and linguistic symbolism, interjected, Jasper indeed seeks to reshape the dynamics of the raider's conflict ability. But what of the synchronic swords? How do they fit into her grand plans? The raider's eyes gleamed with a mix of reverence and caution. The synchronic swords, masterpieces within the Amis framework, are not mere weapons, they are symbols of Jasper's linguistic prowess. She envisions the raiders wielding these swords not only in physical combat but as tools of manipulation, much like the cannons. The hilts are encoded with linguistic patterns that guide the raider in a dance of strategic brilliance, turning the battlefield into a narrative woven with the principles of Amos. Aaron pondered the implications. So, the raiders are progressing as warriors and storytellers on the battlefield. Jasper's approach is one of manipulation and strategic brilliance, using both technology and linguistic artistry. The raider nodded, exactly. Jasper's ambition transcends traditional notions of warfare. Raider City, under her guidance, becomes a forge of innovation where the principles of Amos shape not only the physical landscape but also the narrative of conflict. Dylan E.T., with a thoughtful expression, concluded, Jasper's plans are a convergence of technology, linguistic mastery, and strategic brilliance. The integration of 3D GR signaling into cannons and the utilization of synchronic swords create a multifaceted approach to warfare, reshaping the very essence of conflict within Raider City. As the revelation unfolded, the Grand Hall of the Biofex re-echoed with the implications of Jasper's grand plans. The settlers, led by Aaron Sawyer and guided by Dylan E.T., now faced a formidable challenge, one that required not only strategic brilliance but also a deep understanding of the interconnected landscape. The complex dance of progress and conflict within Veridegis continued, driven by the transformative power of knowledge and the settlers' unwavering commitment to shaping their destiny in Veridegis. Dash 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 dash. Jasper, the ambitious raider queen, stood before her gangster faction in the dimly lit chamber of Raider City, ready to unveil her true intentions. Breaking the fourth wall, she addressed the audience with a sly grin. Jasper, Ah, my dear audience, let me peel back the layers of my grand performance. Behind the eloquent words and dazzling display lies a plot of deception and ambition that transcends the narrative tapestry woven before you. You see, the treasures I spoke of, hidden within Biofexry Castle atop MT. Veridian is not the silver and gold I promised. No. They are the intricate secrets encoded within the process for growing artificial citizens. The rebel faction and the other fragments of the process artifact hold the key to a power far greater than any material wealth. My linguistic mastery, the philosophical dialogues, the martial prowess displayed, all are mere tools to manipulate the minds of my gangster comrades. The graphene semantic structures of defense and offense. 
A mere smokescreen to divert attention from the true prize, the rebel held fragments of the process artifact. The gangster faction believes they march towards riches, yet in reality, they are pawns in a grand chess game. As I envision the conquest of Biofexry Castle, it is not for the treasures of technology but for the secrets that can shape the destiny of the artificial citizens. Deposing Dylan E.T., another layer of deception, Biofexry Castle's high ground is the true prize. With it under my control, I can dictate the ebb and flow of power within Raider City and beyond. Biofexry Castle's gothic design and symbolic carvings. A reflection of my strategic brilliance, a diversion to mask the true intent of my reign. Creating a settlement of artificial citizens under my influence. Ah, now we arrive at the crux of the matter. The rebel held fragments once in my possession, will grant me the means to mold and shape artificial citizens as I see fit. A settlement of loyal subjects, obedient to my will, and under the guise of progress and prosperity. So, my dear audience, as you witness the unfolding drama, remember that the narrative you perceive is but a carefully crafted illusion. Behind the scenes, Jasper dances in the shadows, pulling strings and orchestrating a clash of ambition and deceit. Raider City, Biofexry Castle, the Rebels, all are pieces on my grand chessboard, and the game has just begun.